Well, hello, hello. How are y'all doing today? So, it's good lighting today. Yay! So, I decided I'm gonna do... Oh my goodness, I don't want to touch it. I'm gonna do a, um... A lyrical breakdown of that Take Me to Church song. Yeah, that song is very bad. Very, very bad. But we're gonna go like how I did the Taylor Swift video. We're gonna go each part and I'm gonna break it down. Then we'll have a little summary. So yeah. Okay, the song starts out, he says, My lover's got a humor. She's the giggle at a funeral. Knows everybody's disapproval. I should have worshipped her sooner. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and he's talking about the devil. And not an act. If he is talking about a lover, then he's pretty much saying that she is demented, pretty much. And because she's the giggle at a funeral, meaning she laughs at inappropriate times, laughs when it's not when you're not supposed to be laughing. I'm pretty much guessing. But why would you worship her? I don't know. I'm guessing it's a devil. <laughs> the next part is um, <clears throat> if the heavens ever did speak. She's the last true mouthpiece. Every Sunday, every Sunday is getting more bleak, a fresh poison each week. They're pretty much saying that they believe the church is full of it. But, and they know that what she's doing is not right. So, but it, he's like infatuated with it pretty much. And I'm going to just read this part right here. We're born sick, you heard them say it. Yeah, original sin. This next part, she says, My church offers no absolutes. She tells me, Worship in the bedroom. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. Pretty much saying, Put me above the church and have sex with me. Pretty much, put me above God. That's pretty much what they're saying right there. Oh my god, that's really bad. I was born sick, but I love it. Command me to be well. Amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> okay, so right here he's pretty much saying that he was born with original sin, but he doesn't want to repent or anything because he loves the sin. And he said, command me to be well. This person he's worshiping, which I'm guessing is the devil because... They can't take away your sins. You, we're not going to go into no religious debate, but whatever. Um, yeah, so... So far we found out this song is extremely blasphemous, but we're not even done yet, because we're going to the course, so... Okay, and then... The chorus... Chorus? He says, Take me to church, and I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that deathless death. Good God, I'll give you my life. Yeah. He's pretty much claiming the church to be crap. And he's like, I'll tell you all of my stuff. Pretty much proud to do what he does and just calling the church out to be bull. And all that it stands for to be bull. God, this song is bad. It's so bad. Okay, um, this next part says, If I'm a pagan of the good times, my lover's the sunlight. To keep the goddess on my side, she demands a sacrifice. Pretty much, he's saying, He's a pagan of the good times. Like, pretty much, he's not worshipping God. He's worshipping gods. Multiple gods. But... The way he worded it right here, I'm a pagan of the good times. Saying that the gods that he's worshipping, they give him stuff like fame and stuff. So he, he's loving it. And he's not going to walk away from that. My lover is the sunlight. The spotlight. To keep the goddess on my side, she demands a sacrifice. His soul. That's exactly what it is. To break it down. Okay, so this next part, <clears throat> he says... Drain the whole sea, get something shiny, something meaty for the main course. That's a fine looking high horse. What you got in the stable, we've got a lot of starting faithful. Okay, so drain the whole sea. I'm pretty much, I think he's talking about um, the Holy See, the church. 
pretty much talking about trying to take the church down and getting something shiny. Pretty much if he makes a stab at the church, that, because he was talking about earlier, getting to where he's at, fame. Illuminati, yeah. Um, <laughs> something meaty for the main course. That's a fine high horse. Um, like I said, with the fame thing, because it's this song is just bad. It's really bad. Um, and then he says, what do you have in the stable? We've got a lot of starving faithful. Pretty much saying that, um, how do I put this? That a lot of followers are following blind. Pretty much. That's what I'm getting from it. Like, he's saying pretty much what he's doing. From what I'm getting from it, from what he's doing, he'll be better off than those that are following the church. If I'm getting that correctly. Like, I'm doing good and you're not. Because you're doing, because you're following the church. The next part. He says, no masters or kings when the ritual begins. Ritual. There is no sweeter innocence than our gentle sin. Okay, so no master or kings pretty much means everyone's equal when this ritual begins. And I don't know what this ritual is. It could be satanic. It could be more than likely satanic because all the other shit they're saying in the song. And... There's nothing innocent nor gentle about sin. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. So, this song is all kinds of blasphemous. It really is. Okay, and the last part, it says, In the madness and soil of the sad, earthy scene, only then I am human. Only then I'm, I am clean. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, in this last part, he's saying, Pretty much only on earth, only as he's doing all of this crazy stuff, the madness, the soil, um, like he said, only here will, like, the sadness, the pain, um, lust, is he human, which that's not what makes you human, but I digress, right? And then he says, amen, amen, amen. So, someone else might get a different conclusion. But from what I got from this song, it's pretty much he's telling how he sold his soul to get fame and he's not looking back and he's enjoying every moment of it. But that's my conclusion of the song, so take it or leave it. I don't know. Um, hope you have a wonderful day and laters.